sense. I have a question for you. The industry acceptance, when you were like on your mountaintop, mm. the industry, you, especially because you worked your way up through the industry and that's the only way to get in. In the industry, you were the darling. Mm. Everything this guy does is amazing, groundbreaking, et cetera. Is that addictive? Because after 2017, it's not there anymore, but you're still putting out the same product. The fans still like it the same. So is that something that you feel like, man, fuck, I missed that? Or is it like, no, nah, I'm still putting out the same product. Good the fans question. Are and I, I was, so I, it was actually a great discovery for me because I didn't know what it would be like. Because mm -hmm. when you're there and we're taking private jets to do stadiums, which is kind of a grind. It's not... It's not really what got me into comedy was yeah. the big stuff. And I'm also never been comfortable with uh, fa big fame. The big like, oh, my God, fame is just it doesn't make me feel like a per I like feeling like a person. Yeah. So when somebody te treat, treats you bigger than that or yeah. less than that, both stink to me. Yeah. It just makes me uncomfortable. I don't I can't I don't identify with mm -hmm. that. And the industry, I knew it from I mean, it's, I've been doing this for 37 years. So that I was in it long enough to know that. When I was getting a lot of acceptance from there, I was like, yeah, right. Like, I know this is short lived. I know this is conditional. Yeah. And I know a lot of it is just wind, you know, it's not really. But again, it's there's actual human beings involved. I had partners in the industry who I had really meaningful relationships with who I'm really grateful to, like, F like FX. Yeah. I mean, FX, even after my series Louis is on my website now. They let me have it. Yeah. And I mean, I paid for that. I paid them, <laughs> yeah, right. but they did. That's an unusual thing. I, I, they took it down from every other service and they gave it to me and I, you can only get on my website now. That was a really great thing. And they yeah. did that for me. So there's a, that's a human thing to do. Yeah. yeah. But anyway, what I found out was when I just needed to just work again and sometimes just comedy clubs, there is this fear when you're up there. If I ever had to just go back to the funny bone, sitting next to the soda machine as it, yeah. it out into the room, <laughs> the smell of fried food, mm -hmm. what it, I may just have to kill myself right. if I go back, but I got back there and I was so happy. happy. Yeah, yeah, I yeah. loved it because yeah. I just loved telling the fucking jokes yeah. I, and I'm closer to the crowd. And the money you make as a stand up selling out a comedy club over a weekend is ridiculous. It's yeah. that it's close to my that's enough point. Yeah. Is just, I mean, they give you the whole fucking door. Yeah. And it's insanely good money. Yeah. So, money wise, I was like, I can live on that. Yeah. I, and then make it. And the make fans it. pay less, which is something that's, that's important right. to you. And then when, when you make, and then you make, and then when you get little bumps, like, hey, I'm back in the theaters. This is so fucking fun. Didn't know if I'd be back in the theaters, but it's just doing the work was plenty. Mm -hmm. I don't miss that shit at all. The being the mountaintop, a mountaintop is a place you visit. You don't fucking live, live there. You don't live in a tent sucking oxygen. It's actually not fun up there. <laughs> it's a goal, yeah. but it's not a life. It's a place to visit and it's a place to be seen from miles around so you can collect. I have fans now from a lot of different places. I have fans all over Europe. I play all over the world because of the opportunity I was given by those people yeah. in Hollywood to get up high. But now I've got, I've they're with me. I, I was smart enough to collect them on my own to find a way to get directly to them. Yeah. Did you but do that? I don't miss being like shit red carpets and being in on yeah. lists and yeah, that kind yeah. of stuff. I think comics Just, are too self aware to enjoy that. To enjoy that stuff. That like red carpet treatment. A lot like of people. them love it. A lot of them love it. Some people <laughs> need that. They like that's their indicator that they are alive. That's their indicator that they're going that they're doing something. Yeah. I think that's sad. That's not that's not sustainable. Mm -hmm. And it's also not based on you. It's based on a trend. I got a lot of attention that didn't. I didn't have coming to me. Yeah, I, I, I'm proud of the work I did, but I'm. It's got. It was like, are you kidding me? You know, <laughs> yeah, yeah, like yeah, when yeah, I saw yeah. comics looking at me, going like, dude, enough. I agreed with them. I'm like, <laughs> it's. Yeah, was like, yeah, I'm sure you were. <laughs> it's just like it was enough already. Yeah, and it was like, oh, you know, you don't want to be that guy, right? You know, so there, there's a uh, Jerry Seinfeld to quote your boy. Jerry Seinfeld was accepting my, an award. Oh, my boy. Yeah, was accepting an award for something. I forget what it was. Peabody Award, I don't know something. That's a great video. It's, a, it's like the Philly bird thing. It was, and he's up there and he goes, I don't want to be here. <laughs> I want to be in the back with a bunch of comics making fun of this whole stupid yeah. thing that we're all here for. Yeah. And yeah, that's, that's what you have. And I think that's what... We have, I mean, it's stupid. Yeah. The red carpet thing is dumb. All of it is dumb. Yeah. If it's the people dumb, love just, you, what the fuck else do you need? Yeah. You don't need these five guys. You boating. don't need that. You don't need the press. You don't need them saying that. There are good versions of all of that. Yeah. 
it's cool to read a review of your work that's well written, that's yeah. thoughtful, that's positive. Sure, yeah. that feels good, but I would if it's between that and the audience getting off on it. Not even the audience loving and coming, but yeah. the audience get knowing that you're hitting them. Yeah then the rest of it can go fuck itself. It's meaningless. I have a follow-up based on what you said about getting your own emails and not liking the mountaintop. Did you do that knowing I don't want to be here for long? Did you do that with like, I'm getting the fuck out of this whole thing that I'm in well, right I've, now? Well, I know that people don't stay up there. That's yeah. always been clear to me. So I always it, knew that was temporary. You said so, it in an Opie and Anthony interview. They're like, they're like, you're, you're doing, you got private jets, you got all this kind of stuff. And you're like, yeah, it's not going to last for it's a while. It's not, can't. Yeah, yeah. When I first got my show at right. FX, which wasn't, <laughs> yeah, I was dead right. Was dead right. When I first got my show at FX, John Langraff, who became my friend who runs the place, he just sent me, he asked me if I'd ever seen The Shield. Mm -hmm. It was their first big success. Great show. So he sent me 10, it was DVDs then, sent yeah. me all of the 10 seasons. And I lost my mind watching The Shield. Yeah, yeah. I watched all 10 seasons and I was obsessed with every character and every actor. And you can tell when they're making the show, the way they walk on the set, they're like, I'm on a hit. Yeah, yeah, I'm yeah. on a hit. Yeah, That's, I can do anything after this. None of those people are working anymore. <laughs> yeah. None of them. Yeah. Michael Chiklis is a monster. You can't even see his face. <laughs> and all those other ones, they were like, you know, I mean, some of them, Walton Goggins is like, fine, keeps finding work and he's a great voice. Yeah. But, yeah. They're, but they're not what they were on that show. And they were winning everything and they were all anybody was talking about. Yeah. And that's not a bad story. Mm -hmm. That's a good story. You get to be this shining thing, yeah. but you got to give it up. You got to be willing to give it up yeah. and dismount yeah. Like, you know, I was dismounted. It's a little different than dismounting. <laughs> and I'm grateful for that because I don't know. I don't know what I, I don't know what it would have been like. I don't know. I did prepare for it well. That's, yeah, that's Yes, what I, I did. But, uh, but the, the trip down, no matter how it's done. I think is rough, it's rough for anybody. Is it cool? Nobody gives it up on purpose. Nobody goes like, that's, I've had that's enough. enough. Yeah, yeah only George Washington. That's right. 